What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Just a quick one as to what is new on Monday. So we do know that we are going to be getting a brand new pack on Monday that will replace the National Guardians. And of course, Paul Scholes and the National Attackers will be the following Thursday when they're complete. Now, a lot of stuff is going to be gone next Thursday. We'll get into that again. The European and Worldwide is going to be gone and these are going to be ongoing for 20 days, right? But these J-League monthly, the National Attackers and the Paul Scholes are not till next Thursday. It's the National Guardians here, which included Fortress Maldini, who's probably the best CB in the game at the moment. Mateus and Czech, which was a very dominant pack, I must say. Now, always we know that we're going to be getting this pack because, you know, it, it shows you with these national players, right? So usually they give you an example here of players that have been added to the, to the database. And this is the Italian midfielders pack that has been added here. So with this pack that you see here, you're going to be getting a selection of midfielders from DMFs all the way to attacker midfielders, CMFs with Fratesi and Cheek in there, and of course, a couple of left and right midfielders there as well. Now, obviously, this ushers in and gives us a clue as to what legends could come that are in the database as well. So for example, we did have with the last one, a selection here with Raum and a couple of those boys that were the National Guardians here. And then obviously we got this pack, which was the Italian pack here, which was the legends. So that is the same for this. This is the selection here. And it looks like these are the Italian league midfielders that are going to be the legends or the epics for Monday. So you've got Rui Costa, you've got Donadoni, and you've got Nakata. Now, I don't think that these are going to be that exciting compared to Mateus, Czech, and Maldini. But I know a few people that are interested in Nakata and Rui Costa. Now, I do have a version of Rui Costa, and it's a card that I've kind of used quite a bit, um, but I haven't used him in a while. And again, it's just the same issue, man, that I've been saying a lot of the time, that there isn't just enough time to play all the cards that you do have, especially if you've been playing the game for longer than six months. Uh, you know, it's very difficult to just fit everybody in all the time, right? But I do have Rui Costa, and this is what his stats look like with the current card that's in the game here, which was a Portuguese version of him. So that's the card there that you see, which was from the Euro, uh, when he was back to the Euro squad for Portugal. And you can see there, <coughs> excuse me, you can see there that his um, his card is pretty decent. And we only played about 84 matches with him. Not a bad card at all. We have him quite a while. You can see there there's 80 days left in his contract. So that kind of ties in. There's roughly about 60 to 70 days when they actually release new cards. But again, very nice balance, acceleration, speed, dribbling, tight possession. Everything is where you want it to be. And to be honest with you, like, you can train this card in a, in a, in a much better way now than, than we probably did before. Especially with the free player reset. You can train him quite effectively because he's obviously going to be getting the booster of the low pass straight off the rip. You only need to put five into dribbling, I think, and you're going to be maxing that out. So I think that the Rui Costa card is going to be quite nice. The only problem with this card, I would say, is probably his speed. Like, his overall speed is not going to get to the level that you need it. Like, if you were to go to 87 balance there, you're going to have to put 17 into the attack and awareness, and you're not going to get the speed up. So I hope that they rectify that with the older card. That's 100 acceleration, 90 balance. It's an interesting card, and he definitely is a nice card to have. But yeah, I definitely think that these are probably like going to be not as, or probably underrated cards, you know. Um, but let me know what you guys think. That is it for what's coming Monday, lads. I probably will, I don't know. Nakata, we have an older version of Nakata as well, which has been, you know, one of my earliest ever cards. But let me know what you guys think. Is this a spin or is it a skip? I will talk to you in a little bit. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.